Good morning and welcome to Fat Cow Farm. Now, I just wanted to do a quick little update on our spring um, barrel, catchment barrel, just to see how everything had sort of settled in. And I'm gonna check the volumes again this morning, just to see if there was any difference between, you know, what's it been now, about a week or so, between what we're catching and the volume um, relationship. Um, because I'm almost now, I'm ready now to start planning in, um, getting a little bit more serious about putting in the rainwater tank as a catchment, um, which is 1500, I've, I've measured that now, um, and then running a line to that, and then I can start thinking about dragging the water back up the hill. So, what I have noticed is that the rocks have settled a little bit, so they're slowly dropping down. Um, what I will do is just bring in a couple more wheelbarrows, just to sort of, complete this this back area a little bit um, I wanted to see also about how everything was settling up inside the barrel but most importantly if I had any leaks and I suppose that's the most important thing so that we are capturing you know I would think that there's probably a little bit of seepage there but I would be thinking that we're close to about you know 98% of the water coming into this area we're actually capturing so what I want to do before I show you the clarity, because I'll, I'll show you the clarity um, in the jug, is a quick little volume check and, um, and then we can go from there. So what we'll do is we'll do it based on 15 seconds again and, um, and then we can go. So time is ready. One, two, three, go. Up. Oh well, we're pretty much close on to a one um, one liter still, so which is perfect. So that's pretty much the same as what we had originally after that the the overnight. Once setting it up, we were pulling in that one liter every fifteen seconds, four liters a minute. So we are doing the same sort of volumes. I didn't show you the clarity, but I'll just quickly sort this out here because the clarity is just you know there's a little bit of a tinge to it still like so but I think you know just remembering that this is not potable water this is purely just for the cattle um, I can certainly see the benefits of um, if you were doing this as a spring for potable water that you would really need to clean your wash your rocks before putting them into the system. And then obviously your covers and everything else over the top. But, you know, compared to what we had originally, you know, that looks absolutely fantastic. So um, there's a little bit of, of tinge to it, but I'm sure the cows won't mind. So I've now, we've now let this settle for a week. And um, like I said before, I'm getting ready for the installation of the rainwater tank, which I'll get squared away. I, you know, I find a few minutes and we'll get that squared away. So that'll be the next video, setting up that rainwater tank and hooking all that up as a part of the, the irrigation from here. All good, mate. So here we are. What do we say? We had um, 5,670 odd litres a, a day. So, you know, the rainwater tank's only going to be 1,500. So we know that within a, you know, a couple of hours that that will be full. And then we'll have the overflow come back to this creek or this little stream or water causeway. Um, so it can continue down um, into the, the main lake here at Fat Cow Farm. So have a quick look in here and um, we'll just see that the, the filtration system itself is working a treat. We can sort of see the clarity is a little bit dirty. We've got some settlement um, starting to settle on those rocks down there. But, well, you know, it's um, looks pretty good to me. Looks pretty good to me. All right, then. So, as a bit of an update for your spring water collection system, irrigation for the cattle like and subscribe 
and I'll see you soon.